stay far away from Lucid Motorstock in 2023. Those are not my words. And today I want to speak about this article from a, a clear bear. And you know, it's fine to be a bear. And I like speaking with bears and I like having discussions with bears. And we're going to go through this guy's points and kind of say why, well, you know, from a bull's point of view, you should not necessarily stay far away from Lucid Motorstock in 2023. What is happening, investors? It is your boy, Jack. I am not a financial advisor. And today I got a nice video for you guys. It's one of those videos that's going to remind you why we invest in companies in the first place and why we stick to investing in the same companies for prolonged periods of time, even when things get tough. Now, if you don't know, I have been involved in Lucid Motors from literally day one. Before it was even announced, they were being public via a SPAC that they were. There was rumors. We got in there at about $12 a share. We sold out in the low 50s, made some nice money. And I still have about 400 shares in the company. So I do have a monetary interest in this company. I have contemplated buying more, especially when we were down in the fives and the sixes. You will see that over the last few trading days, Lucid is actually up about 36%. So they have been on a really, really nice run. Now today, overall, at market open for the EV world hasn't been necessarily amazing. Tesla is doing very well. And then Lucid, ChargePoint, and Hylian are the only other real green stocks out there. But... You know, Lucid and ChargePoint are two babies. I love to see it. ChargePoint's holding strong above that area of support that I pointed out there not too long ago above 11.25-ish. Uh, so I'm very, very happy to see that. But today is about Lucid. And it's about, you know, accepting the bear's points. Because as an investor, it's really important to do that and to understand why you are investing in the company. So right before we do that, could I ask you to hit that juicy like button nice and early for your boy. Really helps me out. Really would appreciate it. And if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe for more content. Also, I am delighted to announce that I am working with Weeble once again. So if you like free money, you better listen up. If you are in the US and sign up to Weeble today, you get two free shares just for signing up. If you deposit $100, you can get up to 10 more free shares that can be valued up to over $30,000 total. It is an absolutely insane deal. It is completely free. Once you invest that $100, you can take it back out. You know, you don't have to. You're not uh, inclined to have to trade with that money a certain amount of times. There's no sneaky business there. It is just free money. So hit that link in the comment section down below or in the description if you want that free money. Now, with that being said, let's get into this article. So remember, guys, this is just one author, their viewpoints, and there's nothing wrong with that. We are just going to discuss them. That is all we're doing in today's video. So Lucid Stock has probable downside ahead despite a big money capital raise. So Lucid Group's massive share sale reeks of desperation. Now, if you're not sure what that is referring to, it's recently Lucid went ahead and raised about 1.5 billion dollars some via public sale of shares and some via private to the pif now you can say a reeks of desperation i don't mind people saying that okay i do think it's it's slightly ignorant because you see every company right now doing it we saw tesla would only a few years ago and tesla in one of the best cash positions absolutely of any ev company out there we see nearly every single ev company going through these capital raises when they need it you know lucid has big plans for expansion potentially even into china they have a lot of products coming up over the next year or two they need capital to do it yeah obviously it would be better if they didn't have to raise capital and they didn't have to delete the share pool but the better option is this as opposed to going bankrupt so you know i, I don't mind this point it always gets brought up the company seems to be bragging about EV delivery figures that really aren't impressive. Now, again, I understand this, and I always bring this point up when I speak about the deliveries. Now, if you're not aware, they did actually beat on deliveries. They sold 7,180 vehicles, I do believe, was the number. Uh, top end was set to be 7,000. But only earlier last year, top end was set to be about 20,000. So it is technically a beat, but if there was never any revisions made, it would have been a huge loss. Again, I don't think this is a, a good point for Lucid whatsoever, but, you know, they've accepted it. They told us investors straight out what's going to happen as well. They didn't lie. They didn't try to drag us along. So that has already been priced into the huge sell-off that happened with Lucid Motors. And again, guys, yes, it, it was a beat technically, but realistically, it wasn't. And again, that's coming from a Lucid Motors investor and a Lucid bull. And investors should stay cautious when it comes to Lucid stock this year. And I will 100% agree with that point i think you should be cautious with any ev stock this year even tesla i mean look at what has happened to them oftentimes deemed the safest ev play by a long mile and they are down from you know peaks of about 420 a share they went all the way down to the 100 share mark 
it is a shaky industry, no doubt about it. In 2021, it may have been tempting to get caught up in the hype around an EV maker Lucid. Yes, it was, man. I remember these days. They were some of the most fun, most exciting days ever. And we ended up walking away with a lot of money. That hype didn't help investors out over the long run. And again, that's true. If you never took any profits, yeah, you're down. 2023 could be just as disastrous as 2022 was. Uh, I don't really think so. But anyway, a foundational principle of investing is that a beaten down share price shouldn't be equated with a bargain. That is 100% true. Lucid Group needs positive catalysts, not just hope and hype, to stage an enduring turnaround in 2023. Now, this is the point I, I want to speak about. There are so many catalysts. And anytime I read through, you know, a, a Bears article, they bring up the share sales, okay? They bring up uh, guidance being cut twice last year. They never actually speak about the real catalyst of this company. Uh, look, I just want to bring up some good points. Look, I'm literally just have a notepad open with a few things here, okay? They have a 50k vehicle order from the Saudi government with an option to buy 50k more. There is currently 32,000 plus reservations outside of that, which represents potential sales of up to $3.2 billion plus. AMP1 Phase 2 will increase production capacity to 90,000 units per year in 2023. Now, I'm going to be the first to tell you, who knows, this could get delayed to the first half of 2024. And if it does, it does. They don't even need all of that production capacity right now. They're not producing that many vehicles. They've cashed after this most recent capital raise to last into next year relatively comfortably. Project Gravity, which is a luxury SUV, updates this year and arrives next year. So we're going to get more updates this year. It doesn't arrive till next year. Around 1,000 horsepower, while a max performance Sapphire model with up to 1,200 horsepower is also a possibility. So product expansion, that is a catalyst. Deliveries beat expectations. Started European deliveries of Lucid Air Dream. And I even saw a few of you guys in the comments. Got a, I saw at least two or three people said they got theirs delivered, which I found quite interesting. Q4 deliveries were 3,493, up from only 125 the same quarter last year. These deliveries, yes, still relatively small, but that growth rate is insane. And if they can keep a compound annual growth rate quarter over quarter from here on in at a decent percentage, the growth is going to get out of hand very quickly. And who knows, it could only be a matter of time before that production capacity needs to be 90,000 vehicles. Do I think that time is anytime soon? No, not whatsoever in all. Honestly, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. But... Whenever the bears say there's no catalyst, there just simply is. What will those catalysts be? I just put them forth. The Parmables might point to a capital raising effort and a recently published operational report. And again, I, I don't point to that capital raise. I just gave you both sides of the story there. So what's happening with Lucid? We feel some sympathy for the folk who bought them in the 50s in hell. Yes, 100%. I do feel sympathy for them, guys. I sold to some of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> However, the Lucid share price has been below $10 a share. And there are some frustrated bag holders out there. And again, guys, there is with every EV stock, there are Tesla holders down 50, 60, 70% right now. There are charge point holders down the same amount. Neo holders down the same amount. XPEV, Lee Auto, everyone who bought at the top of the EV surges down that amount. It's, it's not a negative against Lucid Motors, simply put, okay? So this is happening even while Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund inexplicably pours nearly $1 billion into Luther's stock. And they've poured a lot more into it over the last couple of years. Now keep in mind, two of them, they have basically infinite money. Let's not joke about it. But they've still never sold a single share. And that fills me as an investor with an awful lot of confidence. It truly does. And I'm going to stand by that statement. I really, really am. Then there was their successful capital raise, or so-called successful capital raise, in which the company sold over 56.2 million common stock shares. I oh, know, we addressed that, we addressed it. So what can you do now? We've covered most of the points here. Just because a sovereign wealth fund took a stake in Lewis Group doesn't mean you have to put your hard money on the chopping block. And that is a fact, you don't have to. And if you don't want that risk exposure, then don't invest in Lucid, <laughs> simply put. Loose Group has no income and compared to much bigger automakers, isn't actually delivering many vehicles. Well, of course, <laughs> compared to much bigger automakers, they're not delivering as many vehicles. You compare anything to somebody who's much bigger than them in any industry, they're not going to be performing as well, simply put. But like, that is the main point there. And you can see how, you know, the bear has some points that us bulls should be able to agree with. There's some points there that I don't agree with, but I'm sure he could come back or any bear could come back and try and pick apart my points. That's why as an investor, it's so important to always make up your own mind and form your own thoughts and opinions. Don't depend on anyone else except yourself to make the final decision. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that juicy like button and subscribe if you want more content. I really do appreciate it, my friends. You are all true legends. And again, if you want that free money from Weeble, literally free money, sign up, deposit $100, see how much you get. It's a game. It is literally free money. Why not? Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. I'm going to see you in another video very soon.
Peace.